first time. Wow. Oh, wow. Welcome. <laughs> I won't say what kept you so long, I'll just say welcome. <laughs> it's, um, we're up at the east end of the Ojai Valley, and during this evening you'll hear birds, you'll hear the wind through the trees, you'll hear a lot of natural sounds. And if you listen really carefully, you may hear the song of your own soul. We like to invite people to the mount so that they can deepen their relationship with their essential nature, with life. And to deepen this sense of meaning and belonging, what it means to live on the planet at this time, what it means to live as a, a sovereign soul, and how do we bring ourselves into a place where we can be a force for good in the world. It's all about coming into a <coughs> resonant relationship with each other, with self, others, and the total ecosystem. And that's the beauty of our sound meditations. They actually create a field of resonance that allow us to pulse with the planet, to pulse with the heartbeat of, the, of our own hearts and to listen to the birds. So one of the things I appreciate most is the sense of space, of peace, and gratitude. We are in the International Garden of Peace. And as we've mentioned many times, peace is a scarce commodity at the moment on the planet. So as we go into a place of peace and relaxation and deepen, Whatever gifts we receive from this space, we send them out around the world to touch the hearts and minds of all our sisters and brothers, some of whom are not in peaceful places. So even though we have our own focus and this own place of peace, we're still connected with the one human family. So I'm delighted to welcome you to the Trinity of Sound and the Sunset Meditation. Kelly, Karina, and Diana, and they will give you some guidance of how to get the most out of this experience, but also how to get the most into this experience. So, the Trinity of Sound. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Michael. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for being here tonight. We very much appreciate your presence. Just a few housekeeping. If you haven't already, please place your phones on silent or vibrate. And then I see some parasols, and I don't want you guys to worry about the crinkle noise. And if it flies away, don't worry, we'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Now, is this anyone's first sound experience? Sound down? Couple, couple over. Oh, great. The beautiful view, wonderful people, good community. Those are all highs right now. <laughs> so as you can see, we have uh, lots of instruments. And the instruments, they all affect us differently. Some of it might feel really wonderful. And you might think of something amazing. And some of it might be triggering a memory or some type of feeling in your body. Um, when the latter happens, I do invite you to place your hands on your heart and to reaffirm to yourself that you're safe. You can open your eyes, take a few couple deep breaths, and that you're loved and that you're loved. So you can just say to yourself, I'm safe, I'm loved, and I am loved. And also, it's an opportunity for yourself to take a look at what is coming up. What is wanting to be transformed? What energy can you shift or learn from or grow from? Or maybe it's just about giving it some space, maybe some clarity for the moment, and, or some clarity will come afterwards, some understanding will come afterwards, and just observing those feelings and those thoughts. So before we get started, Diana is going to lead us in a meditation, and Kelly is going to do some breath work. Thanks, Karina. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. That's actually pretty good. We're going to try it one more time, though. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Awesome. Oh, thank you. And welcome to Meditation Mount. I am Deanna, 
And as already been stated, we're so happy to be with you all. Thank you so much for being here. So we're gonna jump right on in. One of the things that we love to do here at Meditation Mount is connect eye to eye, heart to heart, soul to soul with the people who are in the space with us. It allows us to just really presence everyone, to feel into everyone, to kind of listen and sink into what's, what's the feeling for tonight's sound. And believe it or not, each of you play a part of that, a part in that. So just for the next couple of moments, uh, we'll just be looking around, connecting eye to eye, heart to heart, soul to soul. And if you do not want us looking into your big, beautiful, gorgeous eyes, you can feel free to look away or check your phone to make sure it's turned off or say, oh man, the sun is in my eye. What is okay, because we know it's a very intimate thing, yeah? But I love this because it allows me to to see what connects us more so than what quote unquote separates us. All right, all right, so we'll start. Thank you for your smiles. It's really nice to see all these wonderful familiar faces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I already see some people introducing themselves in the back, which is wonderful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And now we invite you all to do the same with each other. Taking a moment to just look at all of these beautiful beings and spirits who are here on the mount with us seeing if you can feel into even the invisible forces and un invisible or invisible presences <laughs> that walk with us, invisible, new word, but just also connecting with each other. You can throw each other a peace sign, a thumbs up, a heart, two thumbs up, you can smile. We can go ahead and activate those throat chakras and say, hey, to someone. Yeah, and I love the sound of laughter because it brings such joy and levity to what truly has been a very mercurial and weird, yet beautiful, yet hideous sometimes, yet transformative time in history, yes? It's like all of the things and every moment it changes, right? Like you can be full of bliss and then it's just like, oh my gosh, right? So it feels good to hear laughter, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it feels so good. <laughs> y'all laugh because y'all know it's the truth. We know it's the truth. <laughs> and we give thanks for it all because all of it can be fertilizer that can be used and transmuted to grow something truly powerful and beautiful, which is what I think we're experiencing right now. We're experiencing Something truly, truly beautiful is wanting to come up, but first we have to rake away and probably burn away all this other stuff. All right, so I invite you all to close your eyes, closing the outer eyes, and just really presencing this moment, bringing your awareness to this glorious, beautiful body temple of yours feeling the warm yet gentle coolness of the breeze as it brushes across your skin, tossles at your hair. Imagining with each blow of the wind that an angel or maybe a loved one who is now an ancestor or who has passed over, just imagine every time the wind blows that they're kissing you. Feeling this steady, firm foundation of the earth that is holding us up at this very moment, supporting us. Listening to the birds as they happily and cheerfully sing their song. Which brings me to something that Michael said during his introduction. He said, if you are still enough, you will hear the song of your soul. 
And so during this meditation, I invite us to listen in to that song of our soul. What is your song? What is it that your soul, your heart, your essence is singing? And that can also express as an intention. Your intention for being here on this planet. And some people say your purpose for being here. But if you could put that into a song that the soul has been singing since the day you arrived on the planet, and even before then, I just invite you to just, for the next few moments, be with that, with that inquiry. What is the song, the intention of my soul? Really breathing into that heart space, allowing the breath to deepen with each inhale and exhale. Just asking yourself, asking your soul, what is my song? What is the intention of my soul? And this may be an inquiry that follows us throughout this sound journey and even in the days to come, especially as we're nearing a new moon in Virgo in less than six to probably eight hours. <clears throat> and as we step into Virgo, how can we support and refine so that our song is fully heard and felt and experienced, not just by us, but the whole cosmos. Imagining even the stars hear your song. So as you continue to feel into the song of your soul, the intention of your soul, and if you have an idea of what that looks like and feels like, and even if it's like, you know what, I'm still discovering that, but I have an intention for today. I have an intention for this moment. Feel free to speak it into the space, knowing that we are creating a field, or not really creating, we're adding to a field of resonance, a field of sound that each and every one of us is a part of. So I'll put, I'll start. And as your intention, your soul song intention comes up, just speak it into the space because we're creating this beautiful medley of soul intentions that will be felt the entire cosmos over. So I'll start. Inspiration. Connection. Yes. Ooh. Love. Clarity. Clarity. Yes. Agape. Mm. Illumination. Expansion. Expansion. Presence. Expression. Peace. Creation. Transformation. Transformation. Mm. Acceptance. Yes. Now say play. Mm -hmm. mm. A little bit of play. And I invite you just to feel into what you have spoken forth and offered into this cauldron of sound. Feeling, with, feeling it with each inhale, just imagining it just encircling and swirling and dancing and delighting within and all around you. 
And on the exhale, imagine you sending that soul song, that soul intention out into the universe. Imagine it dancing and swirling around every person here, your families, your friends, your coworkers, those you pass on the freeway and in the streets and in the grocery store and the malls. Really imagine it just spiraling and circling and singing to everyone it touches. Even to some of the most remotest places on the planet. And when you're ready, when you feel like you've, that, that song is resonating out as far as you can imagine, I invite you to welcome it back home, feeling that resonance return back to you, holding you, singing you, breathing you, directing you, dancing you, playing you like a beautiful instrument. Maintaining this spaciousness, this sense of intention and presence as Kelly guides us in some breathing and vocal toning. So keeping your eyes closed and staying in the same space that you're in, maybe putting a hand on your heart and the other one on the earth, if that feels okay for you. We're just going to be connecting with our bodies through our breath just bringing ourselves into full presence right now. And it'll be a simple breath. And then when we're comfortable with that, we're going to move into a group vocal toning while we'll be humming together. So let's just really connect with our bodies and breathe in through our nose, filling our belly with air, holding it for a moment, and then exhaling through our nose again. Inhaling again into our bellies, expanding our bellies, holding it and releasing again. We're just trying to create a little bit of space inside of ourselves right now. So inhale deeply, pulling that energy from the earth into your belly, holding it and releasing back down to the earth. Inhaling again, long, slow, and deep into the belly. Holding it. Exhaling back down to the earth. Visualizing when you inhale, you're pulling the energy up through your root and into your belly. Inhaling deep. Exhaling back down to the earth. This time, bring your awareness to your heart center and breathe up from the earth into your heart center. Notice what it feels like there for you right now. Exhaling back down to the earth. Inhaling again from the earth into your heart center. Becoming still in between the inhale and the exhale and then exhaling again. Inhaling from the earth into your belly, into the heart center. Holding it and becoming as still as you can. And exhaling and letting it go into the earth. Inhaling again, really focusing on your heart center as you pull that energy up to your heart. Connecting with your heart, sensing that connection. And then letting go back down to the earth. Inhaling again from the earth into your belly, into your heart, connecting with your own heart center, exhaling to the earth. Now this time we inhale and we connect to our own heart center and then visualize connecting with all of the other hearts here today, heart to heart to heart and exhaling back down to the earth. So now we're not just breathing for ourselves, we're breathing with each other, inhaling into the heart center again, all of us connecting heart to heart, 
Sensing that connection and exhaling again. Inhaling the deepest one yet and really pulling it into that heart center and opening up that heart and connecting with everyone here and connecting with the heart of Gaia and exhaling again. One more long inhale, connecting with your heart, opening, connecting with everyone else and then exhaling back down to the earth. Now after your next inhale, we're going to be exhaling as a hum. So, and we'll do a few cycles of this. So it sounds like this. Hum. And then you inhale again and your complete exhale is a hum. And we're doing this to open up our throat chakra, to move anything that's stuck or blocked, to help with our expression and our reception to speak our truth. So inhaling. Hum. Hum. And don't be afraid to make noise. Don't be afraid of it. Hum. The stronger the vibration you create, the freer you become. Hum. vibration around your body in your auric field. Notice if you can see the subtle changes. Hum. Hum. Next hum, when the energy builds up behind your lips, open up into a ma. Hum. Ma. Take a long, deep inhale and hold it at the top, becoming totally still. And exhaling. One more long, deep inhale, holding it at the top. Noticing the changes that you're feeling in your body, around your body. Exhaling. And gently making your way down to a Shavasana, Keeping your eyes closed if you can. Just move slowly and gently. Really feeling held by the earth. 
adjusting your body however it needs to be adjusted to feel held and supported. Noticing the parts of your body that are feeling any tension and breathing into those parts and just allowing them to move through what they need to move through. Relaxing your toes and the space between your toes. Relaxing your fingers and the space between your fingers. Relaxing your heart center and opening. Breathing into your heart center and completely letting go. open and receptive.
feeling into this spaciousness. Slowly, gently, and intentionally bringing your awareness back to your body temple. Noticing the call and the song of the birds. As they sing you back into this space, welcoming you back from your journey. Feeling into that mantra, that sacred chant of Ma. Oh Ma. Beginning to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Bringing some movement back into the body temple. Rotating the wrist and the ankles. Extending the arms overhead, getting a good stretch in the entire body and along the spine. Almost imagining little fairy dust and elves are just coming and pulling gently on your fingers, helping you to get a nice good stretch in that spine. Tickling at your toes and feet and then allowing your arms to cascade slowly and gently down by your sides until they meet mama. Taking a moment to feel what has shifted for you, what is present for you in this moment, what has opened up, and if there's anything you've lovingly set aside Coming back to that awareness of your soul's song and the intention you spoke earlier. That intention that you presenced at the beginning of our journey together. Taking your song with you wherever you go. Now I invite you to extend the arms out by the sides. Get a nice, good heart opener. Mm. And then lovingly bring those arms around yourself, giving yourself a tight squeeze, hugging and loving and adoring yourself, doing a little shimmy, yes. Then we're gonna open those arms out again. Holding and presencing that intention, your soul song, and this time bring those arms right back in, giving yourself a nice tight squeeze, really showing yourself love. Baby, kiss yourself on the shoulders. And say, I love you, I love you. We got one more hug. Open the arms up nice and wide. I mean, mm, taking in all of the goodness you can stand and you can imagine. And this time, if you came with someone, I invite you to turn towards them and give them a nice tight squeeze. And if you came by yourself, guess what? You get to hug and love on yourself even more. And now we have our final hug, arms extending. And this time, imagining that you're hugging Pachamama, Gaia, Mama Earth, Mew, the one with so many names. Hugging her, embracing her, sending her gratitude, blessings, knowing that it is felt by all of her children, seen and unseen. And bringing your hands to your heart center as we end our time together. Taking a moment to just say thank you to yourself for being here. Thanking yourself for contributing to the space. Knowing that in some way you all have imprinted your resonance, your frequency, your vibration on the mount. And whether this will be your last time with us or you'll be back in the future. Just know that the mount has been shifted and transformed because you were here. So on behalf of everyone here at Meditation Mount, we say thank you. And may you go forth 
with love, with light, with brilliance, with compassion, with joy, with courage and curiosity. And may you go forward singing the soul of your song, the song of your soul. And so it is. Have a beautiful evening. And also, one last thing, we're finally starting our mailing list, Trinity of Sound. <laughs> so if you don't mind, if on your way out, if you can please just give us your name and email address and um, we will be uh, keeping you posted with upcoming Trinity of Sound events, if you don't mind. Thank you so much and have a beautiful night. May the sound be with you. Yes.